wonderful person. Hello, wonderful person. I do think the equipment is quite important. Um, I think not being seen helps in this tank. I play it like a tank destroyer, personally. Uh, you need to protect your crew, so you need to select that option in the yep. vitality, and you need protective kit. But otherwise, I have never had so many dead drivers, commanders, loaders, almost every shot in my first 20 games. Uh, One of them like was they, dying. They all hide in the most, like, unarmable yeah. spot. They all like clustered together like waiting, one spot. <laughs> waiting to die. In one like one massive spot where every direction can hit one. Yeah, honestly, I, I've never had so many dead dead crews. So and plus modules as well. Yeah. So since I've put on the protective um the protective kit and the uh, enhanced crew protection thing, it's been a lot, lot better. I did switch to supercharge for a bit but I found the gun was just a little bit too unstable. Um, you want the extra armor over the hit points. I I would. There's no point in the sandbag armor, in my humble view. If you've got a dead driver, the extra seventy whatever it is hit points not gonna help you. So it's actually about if, if you use both, it's about two hundred extra hit points. Yeah. There's no point in going with. Sandbags. There's no point if you can't get away or you know you you're crippled. Um, I mean, it's only two hundred extra hit points. That's only like one Pantera shot more health. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's a really good point. And yeah. Because that's actually that was probably worse than having a dead driver or dead commander all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, armor as you as you see fit this has worked well we have a we have a, well we've now had 78 games and we're still on 70 percent win rate with 10, 10, first, 10 first classes <laughs> the the god of war gaming does not want to bestow upon thee an ace medal at this time <laughs> it's just driven have we upset thy of which yeah. war gaming <laughs> We've, had, we've both had over 4,000 damage. Um, we've both had like mid 3,000 with like four or five kills. You name it, every kind of combination. Uh, capture a base, not capture the base. Uh, I, I don't know. It's just getting uh, to the point just... where we're going slightly insane. Yeah, so I thought, well, I'll record a game and then I'm bound to ace it straight away because then, you know, I put the video out already. So uh, maybe we should try and get two aces for we'll do a. Jack father v Dad, son. yeah, Father v Son. Amorak? Oh, nah, no. I just hate you. I thought that was the Amorak shot from earlier in that intro, but... Yeah. yeah. So I, I kind of play this like a Charioteer or a Helsing. I uh, play it like a T-34 too. Okay, so yeah, I mean, they're, they're all, these are all very... I mean, yeah, those sorts of mediums are T-34-3, T-34-2. You, you don't want to be frontline, you don't want to get involved in any brawling. Have, I mean... The way this is sort of similar to the T thirty four two or T thirty four three is because all, all of those tanks have very weak frontal hull armor. Yeah, yeah. But all of them have quite strong turrets. Yeah. I mean, to the, this it doesn't have very strong side or back. This, but, this, yeah. I think the armor on this can be troll. In in is that you've got I think it's if I remember rightly something like seventy mil on the sides or thereabouts. You've got ten and, degrees of gun depression. And ten degrees of gun depression. If you can mix all that up, you'll yeah, end up with a, a really strong armor profile. Yeah, a good spot as well. Um, really good spot for farming damage. Yeah, I I'll try and show people like my drive wheel wiggle a bit. Just try and get them to hit my side or my lower plate on my top plate something like that um i thought i might get through there but i just took his wheel off uh get a bit lucky on this one actually to be fair um but you'll see here what i mean about trying to give him the right angle i mean obviously he's just trying to he's trying to ram me but here look i mean i try and manufacture a bounce here just by you see giving him the machine, corner literally you, yeah you couldn't ram something that's a really panther. good point like a panther one you can just go um, and do like 300 damage and take 30 damage in return. It's just yeah. insane in terms of ramming. This this tank is absolutely fine on flat and downhill. You can get up to pretty reasonable forty odd, forty five k. As soon as you get anything remotely resembling an ant hill, it slows to a bit of a crawl though. So going uphill, the engine is weak, but He's at sea. otherwise you you can get around pretty comfortably. Um, the the gun can troll you a bit. I forget what my uh, I thought looked normally. Depending on what range you're at, the gun can be troll. Normally that sort of shot could be quite reliable. It's, it's one of those tanks where you just shoot when the enemy is not looking. Yeah, yeah. Or um, give trick them into letting you reload and then 
shooting yeah, as yeah. they're not looking. Yeah. Let's get um, the show on the road. So, uh, do, do I think it's a good tank? I do actually really quite like it. Um, yeah, it is really fun. Yeah, it is good. Um, so your your side armour is 76 millimetres, but if you side scrape it, it ramps up to 322, <laughs> which is really good. Um, but the you're, thing is, you do have... That's when you go to the spaced armor, really. Yeah, and the spaced but, armor. No one's chucking heat at you, or yeah. or, uh, or HE. HE. So, I, th- I think it's a, I think it's a good tank. I think it's balanced. Uh, it can carry in certain situations. You you never want to. This is definitely one. I mean, you could say it's for any tank, to be honest. But you never want to be out in the open, and you never you always want to make sure you've got cover. If it's because you've got your ten degrees, it can be on a hill, or you can have a rock or a building. Or a dune. A dune. Whatever it is, but you always need to have some cover with you just to make sure that you're gonna you're gonna be okay. You uh, can you've got be something. Safe from enemies. Yeah, this is Chip from Chinola. Uh, uh, in case you didn't notice at the start, there, uh, I think I just skipped straight into it actually. Shout out to you. Uh, shout out to you guys. Yeah. Shout out to um, you guys. So uh, Chip emailed me today. I've got an ace, and uh, I, I had a look at it, and I, apart from I think apart from how it ends. This is almost exactly like many of the first classes we've got um, in that it's not really any different. It's just that it is any, well, you'll see, you'll see for yourselves. But um, is it worth, what is it, £43? I don't know what that'd be about, $50 would it be? Um, is, is any tank worth that? It's entirely, it's entirely a matter for yourself if you're at work, if you've got spare money, if you like the game enough and all that stuff. Um, this is one of them tanks that will be, you know, half the price in a year. So you always bear that in mind. That, you know, they'll Definitely. always go high on the price. Um, but I like it. It's balanced. It, it's great fun. Um, you can manufacture bounces if you if you get the the shape of the tank just right. Um, you won't bang. You won't bounce big caliber guns um, necessarily, like tank destroyers and things with lots of higher pen. Um, but certainly you're a medium tank, don't forget, so... Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> I mean, this thing seems to have... Well, to be fair that it's a medium... Oof, got just missed him there, got lucky. Like, the largest alpha a, medi- a medium has... I mean, not including the T49 there. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, to be fair, that is a light tank. Yeah. But this is a medium for some reason. Now, it does play more like a... Not like a heavy, but boring against mediums. Yeah, yeah. In terms of its alpha, 440, and its speed, and how it plays, it's sort of like an FV201 in that sense. I know what you mean, yeah. I guess that, I suppose the Chimera is actually quite a good name, because it's a little bit of different things, isn't it? it you'd, you'd be a mistake to play it like a heavy, but its gun and its reload are a bit like a heavy. Oh, I nearly got killed by that <laughs> guy. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Just reload, please, please. Wait, you didn't see when you were talking, the, uh, the SU-152 took a shot at him and it whistled past the back of his turret from behind and he just about got away with that. But, you know, the game turns on these things. This is the end of the game. Uh, and it's him and a full health um, American tank destroyer, which is it, the Tier 8... Um, Tier 8 um, uh, prototype. Prototype, yeah, 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 yeah. So he's... <laughs> I'm like, wow, oh, that's no. incredibly brave. <laughs> and he gets a bounce. See, you can get bounces. And he, that's all because he's got his 10 degrees of gun depression. He's got an auto bounce. He's got his turret. Uh, and I think Chick wisely just does a runner here because that's exactly what I would do here. Because you can win on, on the cat points. If the game ends in a few seconds and you're ahead in supremacy, you get the win. See, I, I would have just stayed behind the sand here and I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have taken a chance. It'd have been too worried. Yeah, he's ahead on supremacy, so yeah, he's going to get the win. I used, I do use the camouflage net on this because I was getting spotted everywhere. That point, I was just like, get a dash room, kill him quick. I can't and believe you, you, you stuck out at the end there, Chip, but you, you did it and you got away with it. So um, there yeah. is your ace, and it's to be honest, we've had plenty of games like that, the same damage and what have you. But Similar XP or a bit less. A bit XP. less XP, but it's just the way it goes, isn't it? Um, yeah. Sadly. Yeah. Unluckily. Um, Unfortunately. 
I could say about five more adjectives, but I'm not going to yeah. take it. I'm starting to see a lot of these appearing in the game, so presumably people have seen these being played and thought, oh, do you know what? That tank looks all right. Chimera is mine. And, and let's, let's give uh, Wargaming credit here, because it's not in a crate. You know. What, what, what? Oh. Have you been saved? <laughs> Thank you, Wargaming. Credit where it's, it's due. not in a crate. Because crates are a thing. Crates exist in almost every game, and they're perfectly within their rights to put stuff in crates. And I know a lot of people don't like it, but crates are here to stay. Nothing's going to change. While yeah. companies like EA are doing it, and um, Activision and all of them are doing it, well, Wargaming are, are not going to change, are they? They're, they're just following the the trend in that regard, to be fair. Um, you know, and yeah. it makes them money. And they're there to make money at the end of the day, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I mean, that's why you make a game, really, to yeah. make money and, uh, and make people smile. But to be yeah. fair, this game really does not make you smile. Um, they can. Um, it can. This tank has made me smile. The seventy percent win rate makes me smile. I don't. I it's, don't it's mind that. It's only like the ammo racks and the seven kills and the aces that make you smile, but everything else doesn't make you smile. Like a first class, it makes you frown for the rest of the oh, game. It makes me go. Oh no! Um, I wanted to take out the LTTB because there's the one tank that can just run amok and pick people off if he's a good player. So I thought it probably better to get out of him. I could have probably have just slugged it out with these guys a little bit, but slugged it out. Um, <laughs> I don't really get what you mean by slug. Do you mean I really I've slowly done it with them? It's, it's like a boxing. Is that acronym the right word? Um, it's like slugger. So people just whack each other, punch each other oh, with a big heavy punch. Oh, nice. Yeah, only a little bit of damage. Well, um, probably a bit more than an average roll, which kind of. That helps you. I thought these two tanks will struggle to pen him, so I'll go around the long way and get the rest of his hit points for the ace. And only to find that <laughs> it was a one shot in the end, which was a bit of a shame. Um, no. I know. I don't know if I put a 4k damage game in here actually, in, in the end, or if I just uh, if I if I didn't bother. But um, you know, I got a 4k damage game this morning where I just sat there like, dum. Yeah. Why? And doesn't the camo look lovely? They mm. do a fantastic job with these British tanks. English tanks, yeah. British tanks, English tanks. Um, yeah, Chieftain. The Chieftain has this same sort of nice yeah. uh, olive green finish. You mean the tier finish. 8 Chieftain? Yeah. The tier 8 Chieftain. Yeah. Uh, even the tier yeah. 10 one looks all right. But it's Chimera all... Phantom. Yeah. I, mean, I love how the, um, some tanks, they have camos that line up with the turret when the turret's straight on. Yeah. Or when the turret's facing a certain way, the camo like, lines up yeah. on the turret. It looks really cool. Yeah. So I really appreciate it, and you know, Wargaming deserve a lot of credit. I mean, look, we've got a lovely game. It, it makes us all rage a bit, it makes us all unhappy sometimes, but they put a lot of effort into it. There's a lot of people that work on it, and you know, it, a lot yeah. of people, it's their life, and they want to make you happy and make the best game they can make. There's a lot of people that put high prices on it. Um, and they have every right to try and get a penny for their game. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. begrudge them it. I mean, they and do actually. I, I, I don't mean to turn into a war gaming defender, but um, but I mean they, and again. How many tier eight tanks, premium tanks, in the last twelve months have you been able to get for free? There's been no, the FCM about, about three. FCM fifty, the T. 34 three, and if you haven't had time to grind them, but you you could play some games, you could still get them cheap. I'm sure people are going to accuse me of being in the pay of Wargaming, but I don't have a press account. I don't even know anyone at Wargaming. Yeah, uh, but we do have an Alba account, which will soon be tested. Yeah, we'll soon have the test on it. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Have you bought it? Are you enjoying it? What do you think? Have you come across them? Do you like them? Hate them? Let us yeah. know what you think. And wish us luck with the ace. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> All right, guys. See ya. See ya. Bye. Bye.